Come on, somebody, it's a resurrection Sunday. And let your hand claps speak of the power of resurrection at work in your life and at work in my life. Come on, somebody. And the pay here, Kai to me, and Yanni, yes, to Christ, we free a woof more. That's a sad to me, no, 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 Thank you, Jesus. I give you praise. I give you praise. Thank you, Lord. Look at your friend. Say, friend. I came to remind you this morning that by the provisions of the resurrection, you must fight what they call rejection. And let me remind you, you can overcome rejection. I feel translated good, Mama. Talk to somebody. Come on. I'm serious. You are the one I'm coming to pick. Oh, Hannah said, If I can only cast on you, I don't want to go another place. Let go catch any back on a seminar. Me come on, come on, come on, come on. Hello, Sibrando Sakai. I'm serious. I have started preaching. I'm actually preaching on the topic you can overcome rejection. So I'm preaching already. I said go around and tell somebody what I said in English. That by the provisions of, of the resurrection you can deal with rejection. So arise and overcome rejection in your life. Uh -huh. Come on, keep going around. Keep going around. Aha. Uh -huh. Father, I pray that as we go around discussing the subject matter of rejection, let the power of resurrection be erupted in our midst, in our souls, and in our spirits, and begin to deal with all forms and dimensions of rejections in our hearts, in our spirit, in our relationships, in our academic lives, in our professional careers, in our ministry lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And the union and then catch it up because they be at seven of the car. One can ye. Ah, oh one can ye. Ye nipan yet. But who sorry in two minutes? And over yanty as here. And over yanty as here. And no begin to see. Lift up your two hands before the Lord. Father, we are grateful that we can come into your presence because of the shed blood of Jesus. And this morning we have come so bearing in mind that when your son Jesus died on the third day, he rose again from the dead triumphantly. And as we remember today, as we commemorate that day, as we celebrate that day, visit us with the power of, of resurrection. And beside all the miracles you will bring into our midst, break the power of rejection. Wipe away the very foundations of rejections in our spirits and in our conditions. And cause us to be accepted wherever we go in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Clap your hands and take your seats. We give God praise. Now, many people do not know that one of the major problems of man is what we call rejection. And even though I will speak briefly, I need you to take this message number one seriously. And number two, don't say, Pastor is preaching about me. Because I don't have anybody in my mind. But any time you deal with a subject of rejection, people who are already going through rejection may think you are talking about them. 
And by the way, almost all of us are going through rejection, but we don't know. But by the time I finish preaching and you see the signs and symptoms of rejection, then you will know that in spite of your beauty, in spite of your height, in spite of how well dressed you are, you are suffering from rejection. And if you can celebrate the resurrection, then you have no need to allow yourself to go through rejection. Then unless you don't know anything about the resurrection. I don't pay me me she shows them me kasa be it yawa. Sometimes me kasa so I could only give you. Me ni be biya nyame hum edin be far no pay. But asema me ka hum and no pay. Ni pa be bring ni mu se. E ya di ba kwa e titi ni pa. Be bring titi ha. Na me catch you. Your boss is no me mba. I'm telling you. Your number one major problem, eh, the brother, when you reject it, say your power. Oh, car, it's your power. Oh, dying 20, it's your power. Because I said, I passed the AK, he said, me, trail, your power will be a hunsins, 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 a friend of a power home home a dimiso. And he had to pay me the buy and me the mommy. There are many messages I can preach about the resurrection. But me ya and I'm not going to be so. So be kasafa. I see me when I catch them in basse. We will to me ya. Ye di di. Hon hon ma. Ede. Yeah, ya po, ya po hon hon. Ya po hon hon. Tell me, ready? Young Kobay Bunume. First Corinthians chapter fifteen, verse seventeen. You you can call this message redeemed from rejection, but I would like to call it you can deal with rejection, because by the provisions of resurrection, the subject matter of rejection is no longer. A prevailing decree over your life. It now becomes a matter of choice. Upea. And our mahu kwine. Say, ya pow, ya pow, hum hum, and in your me dear chinu, in kraumu, nem fam fa kwine so pesa ofa. After when the resurrection happened. Because before the resurrection, it was a prevailing decree over man. But not after the resurrection. So it's a choice. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are suffering rejection, it's your choice. You have decided to allow your own life to go through rejection. And I pray. Now listen to God's word. He said, and if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain. Ye are yet in your sins. Now read the, let's read the first line where the comma comes. Let's go. One, two, three. And if Christ be not raised. Pause. What does this mean? It means that we are being introduced to a source of validation. In the academia, there's nothing you will quote without providing a source. Are you hearing me? Mwanyamiyayo maduma mwakosuku. First degree, half degree, uh, master's degree, doctorate degree. You went through something and you wrote your thesis. Or you wrote your dissertation or your project work. There is nothing you can write without validating the source. Are you hearing me? Otherwise, you can never pass from the university. They will suck you. There always has to be validation and the source of the validation. Look at this. He said, and if Christ be not raised, in other words, because he rose up, it's a source of validation. To many things, not one thing, to many things. And until you and I will learn to go to the source and to know what the source is speaking about, we will allow ourselves to go through what we should not go through. And the devil will have a field day. So he said, And if Christ be not raised, your faith is in vain. In other words, he's now telling you one of the reasons. Or one, one of the 
things that the resurrection has brought into being. He says that if Christ did not rise up from the dead, then your faith is not valid. Your faith that is telling you that believe in Jesus Christ is zero. But because of the resurrection, you have a source of validation. You have not believed in a cunningly devised fable because he died and he rose from the dead. In Matthew 28, the Bible says that when he was buried, they sealed the tomb because the devil knows that validation is important. Validation with a proper source is very, very important. He sealed the tomb, but God also know him. That validation is also very, very, very important. He sent an angel to come down on that day. Are you hearing me, somebody? And the Bible said, the presence of the angel caused a quickening of the earth. And suddenly the seal over the tomb began to break into pieces. And the stone began to move out of the place. And as the earth was shaking, all the people who were put together to make sure that there will not be a validation to our faith, they ran away. And the angel landed and rolled the stone and sat on the stone and the tomb was empty. <laughs> validation means proof. You must have proof. The tomb is empty. Saying that Jesus has arisen. Christ is risen. Oh, only a few of you are traditional. Christ is risen. Okay, who do can you you meet? Christ is risen. Yes, we are sorry. I'm not here sorry. I'm quite sorry. I'm 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 there is nobody who entered this world as a savior who died and rose all their graves are still there sealed but the grave of our lord and savior jesus christ who rose on the third day is open now Let's go to Isaiah 53. Listen. So, the resurrection of Jesus Christ is the source of validation of the words that Jesus spoke on the cross when he said, Tetelesta, it is finished. Where we are? Okay, where we are? Where is the proof? Say, where we are? Because if there's no proof, There cannot be acknowledgement. There cannot be access. Are you hearing me? So yes, Jesus said it is finished. But there had to be a validation. And that's why on the, because then he should have remained there. But if he did, we don't have validation. Everything inside the West, Tetelesta, into being babe. But there were hope, but into me heading in me. But because he rose again. Jesus. Are you ready now? Now let's go to Isaiah 53. Now don't joke with this message. Somebody say rejection. I have what it takes to deal with you. And I will deal with you because of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Isaiah 53, let's read from, from, from verse 1 to about verse 4 or 5, and I, can, I will use it as basis so that um, we will come to the lost table. Who had believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Now look at me, everybody. Isaiah had a prophetic revelation because Israel was in trial times, Israel was in captivity things were not going on well for Israel and then his eyes got opened and in the revelation he saw 
that salvation was coming to Israel. He saw the one who was bringing the salvation and he began to describe the person and he began to describe the conditions within which the person will operate. Let's go. And he said, because of what I, I, I have seen, if I tell you, will you believe it? Because the way it is, you may not believe it. So he said, who will believe this my report? And who will believe that the arm of the Lord will be able to operate even in this environment? Then he said, this is what I saw. Come on, let's go. He said, for he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground. So immediately he sees, he's referring to a child who was born that he saw. Praise the Lord. And, and this is Jesus. Straight away. This is Jesus Christ. And so this is the child who will now grow and bring salvation to Israel and bring salvation to the world. And then, but he said, this child is, is born as a tender plant. Tender. You know, beautiful, soft. You know, everything. You just like this child. But he said, mm. I look at the environment of the child. And this is what I want to draw your attention to. He said, as a root out of a dry ground. Why not a soft ground? The child was now growing out of a hard ground. In other words, the, this ground, because hard ground does not support the growth of, of tender plants. Will not even allow the plant to grow and to bear fruit and to yield fruit. But then he said, so he said, as a root out of a dry ground, then he said he had no form, no comeliness. And when we shall see him, there's no beauty that we should desire him. Immediately, he's introduced us. The prophet is just saying that I saw him grow up in an environment of rejection. Listen to me. Whether you believe me or not, this is the word of God. One of the greatest problems, one of the greatest challenges that man will go through is rejection. You may be a rich man, but rejection can be speaking in your spirit and in your heart. And it may be defining your life. You may also be a poor man or a poor woman. Rejection can still hit you. Are you hearing me, somebody? You may decide, listen to me. They say beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. I don't care. Me, I'm a handsome man. I'm a good sinner. They say, no, what, what, what kind of nonsense is that? Hey, after today, if you decide to allow rejection to rule your life, wala wala. Because if the life of Jesus seen with a prophetic lens was seen growing out of an environment of rejection it tells you that in this life one of the things that you must fight is rejection as a man of god i must fight rejection i must not allow the effects of rejection to define who i am are you hearing me somebody we all go through rejection at one stage or the other. Whether it is calculated or whether it is naturally occurring, it, may occur, it will occur. Wife or man, it will happen. Husband, it will happen. Children, it will happen. Whoever you are, because it happened to Jesus. But the way you react is what matters. So listen to me as I continue. Look at verse 3. He said, he is despised. Uh, but why didn't I, 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 uh, Isaiah begin the by saying that I saw him healing the sick. I saw him raising, you know, the good things. But he's now talking about an environment he found Jesus Christ in. Hey, upeo, upeo. Environment. Maybe I will turn what they whatever there's something there there called rejection you are power most of us our behaviors is as a result of the presence of rejection i'm telling you and i may catch you because here they may preach you may preach you Oh, 
Do you know why some people will enter some place and it's like, like this? The spirit of rejection is operating. I'm telling you. Do you know why some people are very aggressive? It's because of rejection. Sometimes they don't even know that it is a rejection. Psychology school. Move into psychological sciences. And you will see the power of rejection. How it can rule your life without you knowing. He said, say, Muna Udino. And your rejection. I said I wouldn't be long. But I'm getting fired up. Are you, are you understanding the message? Ah, oh, look at Jesus. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief, and we hid us with our face. Everything is rejection. They saw him, they were hiding. They saw him blood on his face. He didn't look handsome. There was no beauty in him. Everybody was rejecting him and just going and leaving him alone. How can he fulfill God's will for his life in such an environment? He's despised and we esteem him Ladies and gentlemen, there's something called rejection which Jesus Christ faced when he entered this world. And the reason why he carried the rejection was to deal with it and his power on the cross. So that when he rises again from the dead, he gives you the validation and the source that don't allow rejection to detect how you must behave in this life. Because he did not allow it either. Let me, somebody say, Pastor, break it down. Let me, let me break it down. Break it down, break it down, break it down. Yeah. yeah come on, say, say, break it down, break it down, break it down. Hey. What even shocks me is that when you go to John chapter 1, when, when John was even introducing the entry of Jesus into this world, Look at how he said. He said, he said, and in the beginning was the word, and the word was God. The word was with God. Then the word became flesh. The word now dwelt among. They said the word shined in the darkness, but the darkness comprehended. And he can't talk it. By the time he got to verse 10, rejection. By the time he got to verse 10, it was a rejection. He came to his own, but his own rejected him and they despised him. But anyway, but as many as received him, he, to them he gave you power to become the sons of God. You hear me, somebody? As long as you have received Jesus Christ, you have been given power to become the son or the daughter of God. Inside that statement, sons and daughters of God is something important that you must hold on to. Because that's what you need to be able to fight rejection. And that thing came to you and I as a result of the resurrection. Amen. Jesus suffered rejection anywhere he went to. Oh, after this incident, in a Mark account, the man went to pray and he was selecting disciples, selected 12 of them. As soon as he's finished, you know, his, his own family members. Came and said, Oh, Akwawe, or oh, Yah Bodam, Munja in Chidi. You haven't seen that scripture? Yeah. <laughs> Tell him, man, his own family, it's like his own family saw him choosing people, disciples, to now follow him. He said, Look, look, don't waste your time with our son. Don't waste your time with our cousin. Don't waste your time with our uncle. You haven't seen that scripture before? Let's go there. Oh, Jesus, help us. Mark chapter 3, verse 20 to 21. Mark 3, 21. Yeah. He said, when his friends, you see, the word friend there, actually, when you go into the Hebrew, it's not just friends, family, 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 family. They went out to lay hold of him for they say he's beside himself. Do you know, do you understand the word beside himself? If like check other versions. He's going nuts. Don't follow him. Rejection. Rejection. Anywhere he went. 
the, the, the Pharisees rejected him. The Sadducees rejected him. There was nothing about him that they wanted. Hey. To the point when he was going, actually the journey on the cross was a journey of rejection. How can somebody come that is coming to save you? Then you remove his dress, put a purple dress on him, put crown of thorns on his head, lash him, cut off his flesh. It's all rejection. On the cross is going, they are, they, are, they, are, they are spitting at him, insulting him. Then they put him on the cross in between two criminals. Rejection. Ah, Everything was rejection. Up to the last point, it was still rejection. I would say rejection. But Jesus did not allow social rejection to stop him from performing the will of God. That's the reason why the Lord sent me to you. Jesus, there was no point where Jesus allowed social rejection to redefine his character where he became very insulting. We are all suffering from rejection. I'm telling you. Hey, in the realm of psychology, there's what they call a higher level of Rejection sensitivity. Say after me, rejection sensitivity. These are people who have gone through rejection in various forms to the extent that they are expecting that anybody they meet will reject them. So they are ready with, with an attitude. A wife is ready with an attitude. A husband is ready with an attitude. A child is ready with an attitude. Rejection sensitivity. Psychology said this is the highest form. So those people, eh, let me tell you. You see why we are all sick. Unim We are all suffering. <laughs> and some of those people they are ready in a meeting. When you say one little thing and they get up, the way they will insult you. From your head to your neck, to your waist, to your knee, to your feet. And then when they finish, they will attack your wife, attack your son, attack. It's all reject. They are facing rejection. Rejection is inside their spirit that they don't know. Redefining their character. Changing who they are supposed to be. You are meant to be a loving man, a loving woman. But because of the power and the spirit of rejection in your spirit, which is so deep-seated, it has changed your character. It has changed the way you talk. It has changed the way you look at things. It has changed. Every day you are complaining about people. You are suffering from rejection. It's as simple as that. Your husband is coming. I am monkey. Suffering from rejection. Am I bringing you God's word? Ask me, Pastor, how do I define rejection? Rejection is when you, you, you are pushed away from something. So you are not allowed or you are not giving what you want. So, you know, they push you. Then, listen to me carefully. Once you feel pushed away, it triggers an emotional response. It is that emotional response that will change your character. And that's what God doesn't want. It is that emotional response that will change the way you do things. There are people in their offices. It's not that like they are not good. But they are suffering from rejection. So when you give them, they are working at a lower capacity, like 7%. Remember, these are high class people. They can achieve 99.9%. But unknowing to them, unknowing to their bosses. When in my working life, when I became the boss, I knew this. So sometimes I knew that people could carry problems. So, and so I had a way of treating them to make just, just create an environment for them to come out and and to be able to give their maximum um, or contribute very well to the growth of the company. Are you hearing me, somebody? Some of you are insulting your children. They don't know anything. Do you know why? Rejection is at work in them. Sometimes when they were very little, 
something happened and rejection entered into them. Rejection has the power to cause your academic ability to decline. Some of you, our children, they are bullies on campuses. Most of them, when psychology tells us that it is linked to rejection, some of them are crooks, they are thieves. You see, these thieves, crooks, most of it is coming from their father did not take care of them well. Papa, I came in. I came in. No, no, we bought to me. Okay, that you lay. No, he wale. No, fair no, no, back care. Kebe no back care. Lefe, he be fair. Rejection. Do you see that all of us, in one way or other, we suffer from? But you see, when rejection comes, your response will determine whether you have power over it. Or it has power over you. And that's where I'm coming. That's the core of my message. So what Jesus Christ? He went through all kinds of rejection. One time he stood even, I was in a, a portion in Jerusalem. I, I've not been there before, but one day, I've been there before, but one day, there was a place that said Jesus Christ stood. And he said, you know, one time, was it the Pharisees or so, they rushed to him and they said that, run away, run, leave here because Herod wants you to, to kill you. He said, go and tell that fox. <laughs> go and tell that fox, I'm not going now. I'll perform this miracles first day. I'll do it second day. I know they will kill me on the third day, but I'll rise again. And then he, he lamented where he was. He said, oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how I have longed to keep you under my wings like the way the hen will keep the chickens under their wings. But you have rejected me. You still don't want me. And everything I try to do for you, you still don't want me. He said, but my time is up. I'm leaving this earth and you will not see me again until I return and you hear the words, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And I heard he wept. They said where he stood and he lamented till today. I hear like on the left you see green. On the right you see green. But like this. Rejection. I want to go to Israel and see. I don't know whether it's true but those who go there, they, they, they visit the tomb, empty tomb, they see all those things. First they come and come. Social and then, then no, a thematic committee. No. Ah, when you didn't go Israel, I love Mali. Why Israel? Me, I'll go and look for that portion where they said the thing doesn't grow. I said, Rejection, you can't touch my life because Jesus paid the price of rejection and he rose again, gave me the source of validation that I have power over you. I will not allow you to rule over me. Glory to Jesus. Clap your hands and give God praise. Many people can do things for God, but they have stopped because they have felt a form of rejection in their spirit. Is that the right response? Many of you as wives, as husbands, there are things you can do for your spouses, but you have stopped. It's all, it's all about rejection. It, rejection is a big, it's not a small thing. It's a big thing. But the reason why it's a small thing is because Jesus Christ crushed it. And he rose again. He said, this is the validation. Don't allow it to worry you anymore. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Jesus. Father, help me land. The question is, how or what did the resurrection do to make sure that we have power over rejection. Let me answer that question and then we go. Is there anybody here who has never suffered rejection before? You have never suffered rejection. Huh? Obi Wahonuma, I did me can say ya pull me, I pull me no, it be Let me give you even yesterday I suffered one. But I no, I suffered one yesterday. See, I'm a very busy person. Those of you who invite me to your occasions, me patch all the time. So my school work was waiting for me. I needed to also prepare for this service. I had several other things to do. And I was invited to a wonderful wedding. And I, I was told that I was going to preach at the wedding. So I prepared a powerful message I labeled the primary factor. 
the next person I'll be your wedding this year, primary factor. Because I'm basu. So I'll show you why I felt rejected, but I did not allow it. You see, the problem is our emotional response. That's what God doesn't want. If you believe in the resurrection, you must not allow the triggering of your emotional response to go beyond the will of God. Otherwise, Jesus did not die. He did not pay for the price of rejection. I asked, what time is the wedding? He said, nine. I arrived, I left home. Even when I was leaving home, I left home about 8.30 something. I said, no, this one, I'm even late. I drove top speed. I arrived at the place. Like, a little after nine. I was there. When I got there, then I discovered that, oh, it was a two-in-one wedding. The traditional man was going to happen first. Before, if I was even told, then I would sit down at the house, but I didn't have this information. Okay. One party of the spouse who must come so that the traditional one too will start, kept so long. So already like two, three hours passed. Two hours passed. I was sitting there. Charlie, I was looking at my car. But still, I knew that these people would preach a powerful message. They, they, they realized that West of Truth Covenant family has come here. So I was there. Let me cut a long story short. By the time we finished the traditional one, and then the lady said it was going to change. Correct. Another word. As at 3 p.m., the second session has not begun for me to preach. God is my witness. I said, God is my insurator. Then, then, hey, I feel like you know me. But still, I said, I have a message. The primary factor. I will shoot at them. Around like, four, was it like 4 30 when I sent that text message or something? 4 o'clock, thereabout. That was when the couple finally had arrived. Then my knee was pain, paining me. So. <laughs> I stood up and uh, I came and I stood by the wall. So some of the people came and said, oh, would you? I said, no, my knee. So let me stand. I was standing. To cut a long story short, the other man of God did the exchange of vows. And then as soon as they finished, the thing switched to reception. Nobody came to me to tell me that because of so and so and so and so, you can't preach. What do you think will happen to me? I left home 8.30 with a message I have entitled the primary <laughs> factor. I have prayed. One time, I left, the, I left the, the, the wedding environment. I went to my car, I took the Bible again, and let me break it down with review. And then I returned. If you were Pastor Abraham, what would you have done? That's what I'm talking about. What would you have done at that time? When the whole thing threw you, I knew it was switching. Because just after the vows were exchanged, then the MC introduced chairperson for reception. What? 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 You and your, uh, the primary factor, you have been rejected. And I, I started going small, 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 small. I sat in my pilot. I had not eaten for morning because I was, they, they gave me oats. God is my witness. I took about three spoons because I was in a hurry. I don't joke with time. So nobody knows the background preparation that has brought me to the place. I need you to understand that that does not merit an emotional response from Pastor Abraham that goes beyond the will of God. That says that the, the person who invited me is disrespectful. I'm not going to talk to the person again. That says that the family is this and this is this. That's what we do. But ladies and gentlemen, I know about the power of the resurrection. It dealt with the power of rejection. And as long as the spirit of the resurrection lives in me, it should not redefine my character. One time I got so mad, I got so angry at the place. And I stamped my feet and my shoe split into two out of anger. Because a man annoyed me. That was many years ago. When I came back with my father, called me and he said, Junior, you are a nice, handsome man. This character does not defeat you. Quit it. 
He called me at dawn. Many of you can't change your na Kenya kesi suban ye 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 po ekenim. Then even that one cry. Another emotional response triggers. Hey, hey. Are you enjoying the message? Clap your hands and give God praise and. Nobody even came to me. Nothing. How will I feel? That's what they call rejection. Meanwhile, I'm coming from a church where they hold me in high esteem. Are you hearing me? I have sons and daughters in the Lord who hold me in high esteem. But here I am. I have been rejected. Whoever you are, you will be rejected. Are you hearing me? But the way you respond emotionally is what matters. That's all. That's the resurrection message. If I was angry, I left. It was because I was hungry. Yeah, so I drove top speed because man shall not live by bread alone means that I need a little bread. But I understood the situation. I said to myself, from nine, from so, I mean from eight o'clock up to four thirty. After I'm sorry, big now I'm sorry, put in I mean, and so I understood it. I didn't insult anybody. I didn't carry. I didn't harbor any pain, any hurt in my heart. That is the power of the resurrection that I'm introducing you to this morning. If many of you will understand what Jesus Christ did on the cross regarding rejection, you will not allow. Because of rejection. Because of Because of Some of you, let me tell you, there's a mark on your face. Because of your emotional responses over time. There's a mark. So when the, the people see you, they don't want to come near you. Today, as you done with the Lord, I wipe off the mark. I said, I wipe off the mark. Listen, I know what I'm preaching about. I know what I'm preaching about. In your office, you are telling me they don't want to give you promotion. Ah, yeah, there's a mark. Some of the bosses, they, they are not fools, so. You see, there are some certain positions. You must have a, a better disposition. Some of you, you want position, but they are not able to give it to you. Your face alone, when they put it there, and your face has become so because of rejection over time. But you don't even know. So on this day of resurrection, the Lord has sent me to tell you that start smiling. Stop smiling. I said, start smiling. I said, start smiling. Some of you, when I meet you, you don't even give me a smile. Hey. I think I've preached enough. Can I just tell you a little? I said, I'll tell you why the resurrection. Yes. Okay. So this is it. Jesus carried with him to the cross rejection. Don't forget this. Because Isaiah, into this age, Isaiah told us point blank that this man, everything is rejection. So any rejection you can go through, or you are going through, or you will go through, Jesus did what? He carried it. Then on the cross, he said, Tetelestai. He finished with the power of rejection. Knowing this very well, that actually the major problem of man at the time was rejection. For all have sinned, and all have come short of the glory of God. So mankind himself was in the region and the realm of rejection. The opposite of rejection is accepted. Let me show you something in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4 or so. I didn't mean to travel with this message. I thought I would speak for 15 minutes. Ephesians chapter 1. I want to show you something. God loves you. God loves me. And so, through the death and resurrection of Jesus, he made preparation so we can deal with rejection because he knows that in this world we will face it. And it will change our behavior. You see, that's the whole thing. 
The devil is smart. He knows that when he changes your behavior, you will lose something. And so he does it through these rejection mechanisms. So that you too, your emotions will explode. And then people look at you. And they labeled you some way. Give me verse 5. Thank you, Jesus. Having predestinated us unto the adoption. Everybody say adoption. I will show you something very well. And you will see the power of the resurrection at work. Because it was the resurrection that validated that something had changed about us in the spirit. And also in the physical. So he said, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. Come on, let's go. Verse 6. To the, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he had made us what? Accepted. You see? Everybody say what? What? Accepted. The reason is that before then, man was re, 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 rejected. One of the powerful weapons of the enemy is rejection. And he sprays it over families, sprays it in businesses, sprays it at our schools, sprays it inside our church. Me, I can make you feel rejected. I may not even know. Are you hearing me? But the way you respond is what I'm talking about. Because it will push you out of the will of God. It will push you out of excelling. And so you must also stand. This is a deep message. When the Lord gave me this message, I said, what? The Lord tells me, all of us, we are suffering it. But to take those who know that my son died and paid the price for this. And when he rose, it means that he's been dealt with. Let me finish it now and we we'll die with the Lord. So, the Apostle Paul is telling you and I, that something happened that caused us to be accepted because we were rejected and we were living in the realm of rejection and it happened through Jesus Christ and he called it adoption everybody say adoption, adoption. now in Romans chapter 8 verse 15 I'm ending the message now I believe this is the most important part of the message where I'm ending so take note of it now I will explain it to you briefly in Romans chapter 8 verse 15 come on let's go he said for ye have not received the spirit of bondage the spirit of bondage is the spirit of rejection when you are a servant in your house don't you feel rejected because the things that the sons can do you can't do the TV the sons can watch you can't watch sometimes the food that the sons can eat you can't eat you are the same person who cooks. So clearly they are telling you that you are re unless something happens. The father of that house must adopt you and change your status. <laughs> and when he adopts you and he changes your status, it now becomes a choice for you because sometimes because you have been in rejection before, you still carry that mentality. Anything the man does, on permit. Anything the wife does on permit is because you are carrying something. <laughs> For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Have you? Examine the word Abba Father before. Have you examined this scripture critically before? So watch this. First, you were rejected. A man entered this world who was called Jesus Christ. He was also rejected. He, the rejection of every other man came upon him. And all the dimensions and the forms of rejection came upon him. And he went to the cross with it. And he knew the father of rejection. The father of the spirit of rejection, the devil. 
he faced him finished him used his blood to pay the price and on the third day he rose again he said i am alive forevermore i give you the source of validation to prove this is what he did so by the provisions of the resurrection this is what happens when you accept jesus christ instantly your sins are forgiven all the other things he carried on the cross are crushed including rejection then to let you know that you cannot be re rejected in this life anymore for you to accept it he sends a spirit which is his spirit watch jesus christ whilst he was on the earth dealing with rejection he didn't change his emotional response to that which contravened the will of god he didn't do that so this same spirit is what is inside his spirit he senses into you into your spirit which gets you born again i'm dealing with the fundamental truth then the voice of that spirit enables you to now say abba father everybody say abba father do you know what that means i am accepted into a highest family i am accepted into the family of the creator who is you to reject me the word abba is an aramaic term in israel they, they just don't call their father father they will use the aramaic they are the aramaic term which also means father in essence they are saying my father my <laughs> today when people are praying they say my father my they are saying abba father you must start saying so do, do, do you know what that means when a jewish child calls his father abba father i belong to my father i am proud about my father he's the best of all fathers. i don't care about the other fathers so number one it carries the sense of acceptance that is everlasting that can never be taken away that can never be broken then number two it also carries the sense of obedience because of this anything that this man who is my father tells me i will do it because it is the right thing that's what we mean by abba father how does this relate to dealing with rejection so watch this when somebody makes you feel rejected it triggers your emotional response that's where the devil wants to get you but he's going to change your character it's going to change the way you will talk. It's going to change the way you behave. It's going to change the way you even. Do you know that because of some of these things, are they being put and dream out now? Dream. Yeah. That, that, that is the power of this rejection I'm talking about. Pastor coughs and you say, Pastor is coughing because of me. Oh, in a, in a no way. People who are suffering from some of these things, they easily misinterpret the, ex, the, the attitudes of people. Are, I'm telling you. Meanwhile, if they have the chance to go and ask the person, the person will say, oh, I didn't even know this. We are all sick. I'm sick, you are sick. But this one will help us today. So watch this. Abba Father means I've been accepted by the best father. He is even the creator of all the fathers. And so I'm happy. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because for his eyes is on the sparrow. And I know, and I know he watches. Then the pure Baptist will say, because he lives, I can face because he lives. Alamata Sayaba de Bea, and now I know 
Yes, I know. Is what? I live in just because he and my fellow charismatic will sing and they will say, In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. Come on, this cornerstone. This cornerstone, this solid ground. This solid ground Fame to the fiercest drought and storm Fierce to the dreadful storm And storm What heights of love, come on What, what heights of love What depths of peace What, what depths of, of peace When fears are still When fears are still When striving cease And striving My comforter, my all in all my God, come on, come on, bring me up that song. My only Lord, here in the love of Christ, here in the love of Christ, Christ in Christ alone, who took on flesh, in Christ alone, who took on flesh. Who no rejection I can go through that he did not go through but yet still he performed the will of God he did not stop it and then he gave us that spirit which is called the spirit of adoption and that spirit lives on our inside that spirit was able to come because he rose again from the dead there can never be an impartation of his spirit if he had not risen from the dead that's all i came to tell you so that spirit of adoption entered your spirit and kicked out the spirit of rejection and took his seat in your spirit and anytime people do things to bring you into rejection your spirit is supposed to remember the day of resurrection which allowed the spirit of adoption to enter your spirit that enables you to cry, Abba Father. The Abba means two things. I belong to a family that has accepted me forever. And this family is the highest family. So what this family tells me is what I will do. So now emotional response, you are telling me, I can say, Abba 
father tells me, "Can Jamie here in your in your field on the camera?" See, Jesus Christ loves you. That is it. That is it. That's all I came to tell you. I'm a father. I came to tell you that it was the power of the resurrection serving as the source of validation of the words of Jesus. It is finished, which includes the breaking and the destruction and the dismantling of the power of rejection and the effects of rejection. I prophesy over your life if you have been going through effects of rejection. Let me tell you, headaches, sometimes headaches is the presence of rejection. Are you hearing me, somebody? Depression, what the white man calls depression in America, almost a higher percentage of the people are suffering depression and they go for uh, excuse duty from the offices. I'm depressed, I'm depressed. What is depression? Depression, the psychologists tell me, that comes from rejection. Something happened, and they felt like, and the thing has continued. When you are depressed, some of you sleep too much. It's a sign. With that, the door is rejection at work. By the power in the blood, listen to me. The Lord sent me this morning to ensure that the provisions of the cross, validated by the resurrection, will take effect in your life, in particular the area of rejection, because it is troubling too many of us. Ya on one case, I didn't know more than one motif here. Ever catching the bush of ever catching the swan for his own. Say, yes, you are moving the cheese. Save a moon in an yesu Christo. One yet be be. I am on free and coupon will no. One yet be be. You see, the natural thing as a human being is to react. Fine, I agree. But make sure, unless you don't believe that Jesus Christ died and paid the price for rejection rose again from the dead and gave you the spirit of adoption that says Abba Father you see Abba Father in the church Abba we say Abba Father Abba no eh krum kasa be friend arabic israel for no omo ka hebrew but mo san so me say me krobo ni so me catch you san etie won so we hebrew for so mo kasa be omo ka e friend arabic inti Abba no eh for instance Jesus Christ over over cross so ka say Eli Eli Lama Saba and ye Hebrew Kasa a Aramaic. Na Aramaic no or Kase Abba Father na and one say eh papa papa. But won't say oh say papa and I say papa papa won't say difference won't hey. some of my spiritual children they call me my father, my father, then my head swells. It's like whatever I do to you, you can't leave me. You can't reject because what you have done is for is sealed. Somebody to call me Papa Wa. You see, it, uh, not that I enjoy it, but it, it's coming from their hearts. They know that I have accepted them. And so they carry that joy. But what is inside that Papa, Papa, Father, Father, Abba, Father, is an element of obedience. Because the one who has given you the eternal acceptance is saying that go it this way and shame the devil. Rise to your feet. Jesus. The Apostle Paul in the book of Galatians, he came powerfully. He also spoke. In, there are only two people who use the word Abba Father in the New Testament. Jesus Christ himself and the Apostle Paul. Only two of them. Apostle Paul, too, when he's relating, he's talking about God. He will use Abba Father. Anybody who does that, and yet you obey and every man of Philly say, What power? And into the what power? Mr. Mitchell say, Mr. Bia. No. 
ni de ni se ni pa ko na waje na atum aye fere ni irade nyankopon no ni ni e no de be ye djuma e no na ye preacher ni se mi famre o ani ano pe ya ye de ensuma ba ye ye o ni e ya o de respond to ni me bi e bi a me ye o ana se obi ye o o yere ye o kunu ye o wadanfo ye o o ni na o de respond ni ani eni nyame asem e bo bra na se enye sa de what to see I need to touch your point blank. It doesn't matter how justifiable you feel. You've missed it. Because your stand is not above the word of God. Are you hearing me? Your stand is not above the word of God. Otherwise, go on the cross and die for your own sins. Pay for your own sins. And resurrect. How wonderful the church will be how wonderful couples will be how wonderful families will be if this message of the resurrection can resonate with our spirit that because he died and he rose he sent his spirit of adoption into our spirits and that spirit kicked out the spirit of rejection so anything about rejection can no longer rule over me because my spirit is crying Abba father Thank you. I'm accepted by you. So I will carry on. I won't mind this sister. I won't mind this brother. I will carry on. I will show this brother love. I will show this sister love. Oh, my heart. Our house shall be a place to stay. Our church shall be a place to live in. Our schools, ladies and gentlemen, by the voice of the resurrection, I pray over your life, I pray over my life, that may we be the ones to change the conditions in our environments. We will disallow the spirit of rejection. We will not allow the spirit of rejection to work any longer. Lift up your two hands, somebody. Shemo Lucia Tabraya. Listen, you may tell me you are not suffering from rejection, but there's some signs around you is telling you that Rejection is inside you. Prepare your heart as you dine with the Lord. That everything will be kicked out. And the spirit of adoption will begin to cry in your heart. And say, Abba, Father. Abba. Lift up your voice and start praying. Bompai. Abba, Father. Sahu hum no ni to me and they will say diwa bra bo so enye to me a obi a power i no hu ti am abe wura unu na se se wani mfe fe fe na se se wani mu nsem na se se na bi a unante sometimes the way we walk even tell says that we have been rejected lift your voice and pray le ha de bo shi ha tele bo kole be zi ha tele bre aya ye ma tini di o te bo be kaya Malian Tulubo Shekalibrele. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Father, we are ready. We are ready. We are ready. Liberate us, Lord. Liberate us, Lord. Liberate us, Lord. Liberate us, Lord. Lekotobo Sabra Tebo Sabra Open your eyes and look at me. Some of us. The rejection we are going through is a spirit. Coming from a family background, yeah, who who would hear? Yeah, what the? Yeah, normal. So normal, no. A type of so are abnormal, but a type of so never hear normal. No, I'm a foundation for who who to come. Who who the urban is a wafau for the rest of any generation. Say, baba, the move you want to make in generations, a di a oye chin. I have who who, and now and now I'm here. There are some of you have not done anything at all to your husband you've not done it to your wife you've not done it to your brother but when somebody sees you they reject you what interview listen to me some of you you attend interviews you should have been number one but they reject you that one a very spiritual the spirit of rejection in, the, in this service this Thursday, if God wills, I will deal with the spirit of rejection proper. Normally, Sundays, me, but this Thursday, everybody come. Oh, be a spirit of rejection in the This, we will, but right now, me to us here, many are Some of you, we, we come from Africa, you bro. We are not a No, you're a slave. Home, home, rejection, you cry, you're a 
Not the whole next one, next one, and I was so yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of them carry this with of rejection where no man can marry them, but a man can give you a child. May the Holy Communion break this power. May people marry after this service. Take your Holy Communion. By the time I finish drinking this one, no rejection can enter my life. Oh, everybody say, I'm a father. Say it joyfully. You ever come seven times? And after that, we will die with the Lord. I believe that the spirit of adoption will take his full place in our lives. And after today, our emotional response to feelings of rejection will not take us out of God's will. And by that, we would have overcome rejection. And new doors shall be opened unto us. Father. here. seven times, but ma vim Father. Whatever. The effects, the impact of rejection. Listen, I told you yesterday it happened to me. I had I would have fled up, then I would ask the MC. You know who I am? I'm Reverend Doctor. I've seen rejection in my life many times. I've been to places they'll go and put me at a seat where Charlie. But I, I didn't I didn't go on the I said no. Oh, come. Stayed right there at that seat. One day they will discover who you are. Who oh, say we are sorry? We are sorry. Hey. Well, if you know, oh foot to my foot. Hey. I bring healing to all their futures in this house. <laughs> I, I feel joy. My daughter, I know you are mourning, but allow the joy of the Lord to fill you. God is with you. I'll pray with you. Yes, after this. I feel God's presence. Are we ready for Abba Father? Seven times. Number one, let's go. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. We invoke the spirit of adoption and his power into the bread and into the wine. And as we partake of the body of Christ and we drink of his shed blood, we decree as a church and we decree as individuals that the power of rejection is broken. The effects and the impact of rejection over our lives are also broken. And from today, our emotional response to any sense or any feeling of rejection cannot take us out of the will of God. We will prove to the devil that we know who we are and we will rebuke him and his activities in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let also healing enter. The holy communion elements. Let all manner of breakthroughs be present. That as we die, we will receive our breakthroughs. In the name of the Lord Jesus. On the same night on which he was betrayed, he took the bread. And he broke it. And he said, take it for this is my body that was broken for you. Do it as often as you do in remembrance of me and the earth shall we eat.
the same manner he took the cup of the covenant he blessed it and he said drink for this is my blood that was shed for you for the remission of your sins do it as often as you do in remembrance of me and they drank shall we drink Nobody, I will drink my tea. Hello, my lady. Koni afun efene onse aya. Thank you, Ronald, for giving me a future cup. Church, lift up your two hands. I leave you in the Holy Spirit. Because on Thursday, I will minister to individuals. But right now, I leave you with the Holy Spirit. Lift up your two hands and begin to pray. Something must happen to you. Make your soul hot service Thursday. I'm a Jamie, I'm a Bompire, I'm a Crown Crab, and then yet, the person who is a Kung Kung and Yan Kitaho. Tell him something. You, you heard me say a lot of things, and I don't know what he told you whilst I was preaching, but speak back to him. <laughs> 